If you're a musician and are currently progressing in your independent career in 2023, there are a few things I recommend that us as musicians should stop doing in order to progress in our music career. The very first one is to neglect our social media. We need to stop doing that. Now, social media is really important in terms of keeping contact and discovering fan bases and audiences. I know as musicians, we tend to just wanna make the music and be creative and hope for the best, but currently social media is really strong, particularly platforms such as YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Facebook is also somewhat still relative. If you've got a bigger, older audience, sorry, then you want to keep abreast with those social media platforms. You, I'm not necessarily saying you have to be fully engaged in all of them, but you kind of have to keep tabs on what is going on and keep them updated because those platforms are needed to keep top of mind to your audience. Now, in terms of TikTok, it was recently published that TikTok is the way of discovery and more than 50% of the songs in Billboard are actually found on TikTok. So if you're a musician that wants to get onto playlisting and in terms of charting, then you kind of have to be on TikTok. But moving on to the second one, not having a mailing list. Now, not having a mailing list, we have to stop doing it. A mailing list is basically a tool that you use to communicate and keep in touch with your audience. You can use an email service such as Aweber, which is what I use, or you can use WhatsApp broadcast list to keep top of mind of your audience. Now, people generally don't keep thinking of you as a business or as a function or any kind of artist if they don't need you or kind of have a purpose for engaging with you. So you kind of want to be top of mind by constantly reminding them that you exist, your music exists, and this is the benefits of having this music. Now, mailing lists are really good for this, and that's why I suggest if you do not have one yet, start having a mailing list. I've left a link to in the description below for Aweber, but you can use any other emailing service. The third thing we need to stop doing is to release without a budget. I say this many a times, releasing and hoping solely on social media to push your release is really difficult considering that most musicians tend to transition into business accounts and business accounts on social media such as Facebook and Instagram, you have to pay to get in front of your audience. Now, if you want to be in front of your audience, you kind of have to pay or you get a consecrated group of people to engage with your post to make it seem popular on the post. So releasing without a budget is really difficult, especially if you don't have time. And if you wanna push your release, anywhere in terms of decent numbers, then you kind of have to have a budget, particularly if you have an objective such as streaming, for example, or downloads, for example, then you have to push it in front of your audience. And unfortunately, the most easy way is to pay upfront to get in front of that audience. Alternatively, that's why you have your mailing list because your mailing list will get you in front of your audience really cheaply and for free. So the mailing list is really important. Secondary would be to have a budget when releasing. If you also want to get onto playlisting, you can use services such as groover.co, I've left a link in the description, to get in front of playlist curators and get your music on different playlists. But to do that, you also need a budget. So keep in mind when you are releasing to always have a budget. Number four, we need to stop overlooking collaborations. Now collabs are easy to do in today because of how technology is. You can collaborate with anyone across the world that you find and resonate with their music. So collaborating is really important. And there's the traditional sense where you go to someone's studio and collaborate together, but there are new ways of collaboration now where you can actually use their platform on social media and then remix their reels or their shorts or their TikToks, for example. So collaborating is not as cut and dry as the old school. Now there are multiple ways of collaborating. So do consider not neglecting collaborating because it is important. And number five, we need to stop not keeping up to tabs with technology. Technology is moving really fast at the moment and there's a huge push in terms of AI being used for collaboration purposes and for other creative outputs such as images, such as creative writing, etc. So you want to leverage and keep 
abreast with technology movements so that you as a musician can be leveraging it and improving your music career accordingly. For example, if you're someone you know you do not like writing captions for social media, you use AI to write your captions for you in a specific type of tone and you change it to match your brand. That's an example. If you do not like pitching for radio and you know your English is not the greatest, you can use AI to write your email pitch to the curator. Similarly, when you want to submit to a publisher, for example. So you want to use AI to the best of your ability and other technological advances to improve in your music career. But if you want to know how many streams you need to make a thousand rand, watch this video.